A while back, I made a video discussing the Ben Demption discourse going around the Star Wars fandom. In that video, I mentioned that Kylo Ren is my second favorite Star Wars character who debuted during the sequel trilogy. Who is in first place? That would be Finn. As someone who gravitated towards the Fats, Mandalorians, Clone Troopers, and Stormtroopers, I thought it was interesting to see a former Stormtrooper as one of the sequel trilogy's main protagonists. In The Force Awakens, we saw him break free from his conditioning, leave the First Order, and join the Resistance. In The Last Jedi, we saw him strengthen his ties to the Resistance to the point where he was willing to sacrifice himself to stop the First Order from taking over the galaxy. Now I have one wish for Finn in The Rise of Skywalker. The revelation that he is Force-sensitive. Okay, hear me out in this one. Each of the three trilogies that make up the Skywalker saga have three main characters. The original trilogy had Luke Skywalker, Leia Organa, and Han Solo. The prequel trilogy had Anakin Skywalker, Padme Amidala, and Obi-Wan Kenobi. And the sequel trilogy currently has Rey, Finn, and Poe Dameron. Both of the first two trilogies include two Force-sensitive characters in their respective trios. Luke and Leia for the original trilogy, and Anakin and Obi-Wan for the prequel trilogy. So far, Rey is the only member of the sequel trilogy trio who is Force-sensitive, but it wouldn't surprise me if that won't be the case for long. Now you may be wondering, why Finn? Well, let's go back to all the marketing material for The Force Awakens. Those promos would always focus on the scenes in the movie where Finn is wielding the blue Skywalker lightsaber, and he was doing a pretty good job too. Come to think of it, Finn's one of three non-Force-sensitive Star Wars characters that wields a lightsaber throughout the entire Skywalker saga. The other two being General Grievous, who was trained in all seven forms of lightsaber combat, and Han Solo, who briefly uses the Skywalker lightsaber to save Luke and Hoth. Of course, Episode 7's promos were one big misdirection, as it is Rey who's ultimately revealed to be Force-sensitive and uses a Skywalker lightsaber to defeat Kylo Ren. I think Episode 9, establishing that Finn was attuned to the Force, would not only be a cool way to explain his skill with a lightsaber, but it could also be a tribute to everyone who expected and wanted him to be the sequel trilogy's protagonist. Now, if I had my way, Finn would specifically obtain Luke Skywalker's green lightsaber from Return of the Jedi. Why that lightsaber? Well, for starters, the blue Skywalker lightsaber is currently in Rey's possession. In addition, it would be a cool way to redeem this weapon, considering that the last time we see Luke use it was when he unintentionally created Kylo Ren. Finally, Luke's green lightsaber is my personal favorite lightsaber, I like how it's modeled after Obi-Wan's third and final lightsaber, but it's green instead of blue, and green is also my favorite color. In addition, I would like to see Finn lead a Stormtrooper Rebellion. If one Stormtrooper could break free from First Order conditioning and become a hero for the Resistance, why can't others? I would like to see this Stormtrooper Rebellion leading a ground assault against the First Order. Maybe they're all on speeder bikes, and all of them but Finn are wielding lances. Think like that one episode from the original Star Wars Clone Wars micro-series where Obi-Wan led a group of lance-wielding clones and speeder bikes against Dirge. I think that'd be pretty cool. I know that it's very likely that Finn won't become Force-sensitive in The Rise of Skywalker. I may be a little disappointed, but just like I said in my Bendemption video, I want this movie to be a satisfying conclusion to the space opera movie saga that we all know and love. Hello, I see that you have reached the end of this video. If you liked what you just saw, you can give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Twitter at Dialogue Nerdy. If you really want to, you can also ring the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video.